Hello and welcome. Getting ready to do an oracle card reading. Some of you have asked me for a few more oracle card readings. Didn't realize that you uh, enjoyed them and liked them. So, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and do an oracle reading for those of you that requested it. Thank you. Thank you. Your comments really mean a lot to me. They guide me. They let me know what you like. They let me know uh, kind of which which way I should be going. Yeah, kind of, how do I look? How do I look? Okay, a little too late for that, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on here with the Oracle cards. I want that one out because it felt like it. And that one. And one more, please, Spirit. Can I get one more jumper, please? Wow, okay. All right. <clears throat> First card is, <clears throat> I do believe this is the Denise Lynn Sacred Traveler deck. And the first card is Not For You. You are dealing with a situation, obviously, that is not for you. Uh, this could be a relationship for some of you. Could be a family connection, could be a business connection, but something that you're dealing with on a personal level, you're going to know it, it's you. If it resonates, it resonates. It does, these readings don't apply to everybody, obviously. But there's also a fortune cookie in that picture. I never noticed that before today. Not for you. This isn't going to, this opportunity that, that's going to present itself. There's a new opportunity coming out of whatever that was that is that is not for you. Is going to present itself. But you've got to be flexible. You can't have a, a fixed preconceived notion of how something is going to turn out or it won't even turn out. As long as you're flexible about the thing that is not for you, that is not working, that you have to let go and release, as long as you're a little bit flexible, we're going to let the fates step in. The fates. There is something out there that is fated for you that is better than what you have been dealing with. You've got to kind of just let it go, though. you got to kind of, you're at the point where you need to allow God to take it off your shoulders. Because something new needs to come in. This is something that's held in a faded time frame two. All right, why is this shit happening in me? Really, why? <laughs> why? Uh, I thought he loved me. Why? Because there's something better out there. That's why. Absolutely. Something better out there. Hang on, I'm going to grab another deck here. Let's see what else we've got going on here. What other deck can I use for this particular? Ah, all right. We will use past life deck. We're going to bring in the past life oracle deck here. Let's see what this is telling us. This is something deep that goes back a little farther. All right, Spirit, can I get a jumper, please?
Go ahead and kick me out of jumper. Thank you, spare. I had a time. There we go, finally. All right. Absolutely. Forgiveness. That forgiveness that is required is for you. Not them. You've got to forgive them too. You've got to release that well enough to forgive somebody. Unless you can forgive somebody that really harmed you in some way, you'll never get past the pain of it. You don't have to accept what it is they did. But you can say, you know what? I, I, I can forgive you and move forward. Now that forgiveness card, though, is about you and forgiving yourself for some of the things that you feel like you may have done wrong, not done correctly. And because you've, you've got to find that love for yourself in order in order for you to forgive yourself. I'm going to grab another deck. One more. Let's see what else we've got going on. All right, which deck is this? Ah, this may be my, my Denise Lynn Ancient Traveler deck. Let's see what's going on with this deck. All right, that one jumped out. One more, please, Spirit. Can I have another jumper? All right. <clears throat> that first card that jumped out was protected by angels. You are. You may not know it. You may not even think about it. We all are protected by angels. And as you're going through this deep, deep issue where you, you really have to find forgiveness, you have to understand why this is happening, um, those angels are keeping you wrapped in their wings. It's going to be okay. And the other card that popped out was taking shelter. <clears throat> taking shelter. The answers are within. Yeah, you've got to you've got to find that forgiveness because the answers are right here. They're all in you. You know, it might be time to walk away from something. You know, it when it's time to start something. And you're going to be seeing things from a new perspective. So something is really going to be lighting the path for you. And that's what that taking shelter card is about there too. That All you can see is a hand, a lantern through the snow. There, there's some enlightenment that's going to be coming for you. And it's going to give you a brand new perspective on a lot of things. A brand new outlook. This situation is really going to deepen who you are spiritually. All right, there you have it. Hey, I hope that reading resonated with somebody. Um, if it does, hit that like button, please, and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. All right, I'm going to let you go. I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. Sincerely. <laughs>